In today's video, I'll be showing you how to draw some of the basics of curly hair. So, like in the video that I did of straight hair, um, I showed you that just by using kind of these quick, long, downward um, strokes, you can kind of group it together and create the long hair you'd like. With curly hair, the basic strokes that you need to use are just kind of C shapes going back and forth. And so with that, I'll show you how to draw a curl. Um, before drawing it on a head or anything, I'll just show you how to do like the basic curl. And then of course you just multiply that to draw a full head of hair. So first of all, you start um, with just kind of your first basic line that you want to follow. Let's say something like that. And sorry again, this is going to be a huge mess because this is so quick. Um, and then you get your second line and you give the curl some volume. Notice that as I draw this curl, you know, say this is your starter line, I'm not keeping it like equal distance because that just looks weird. Um, when you have your curl, you want to make sure that you're getting closer and further, um, making it look, I don't know, cooler. <laughs> um, and I mean, this just looks like a mess, but hopefully you get the idea that to show that it's curling, um, you gotta give it some movement like that. Okay, so now to do like a head of hair, um, like with the straight hair, you wanna start with kind of finding where you want the part to be, and then just starting your hair. Uh, with the straight hair, you kind of go straight down and um, you don't really lift it up off the head at all. With curly hair, you want to do that because curly hair has a lot more body than straight hair does. And so there's, um, there's this space where it kind of lifts up off of the forehead. Also, when you're adding the curl, you want to make sure that you are bringing it down, um, bringing it closer in the same spot. If you have a curl like this, you don't want to be like making just weird uh, breaks wherever you want. You want to make sure that you know the it get is consistent where it comes closer. Um, at each spot. It's not just a random thing, if that makes sense. Um, so here I can keep, I usually like to add the, the frame for the face first with the hair. It just kind of helps me build onto that. So this head of hair isn't particularly curly, it's more wavy. Um, with the back of the head and just around the, the cranium, the waves typically aren't going to be as intense as down here. They're more free to move, but against the head, they don't have quite as much body. However, they do lift up off the head much more than straight hair does, because again, they have more body. Um, I'll still add a slight wave. And here it meets the shoulder. And then you can just kind of put in some hints of the rest of the curls. And mind you, you don't want to get anything too uniform either, because curly hair generally is a bit messier, and so just kind of add some closeness, some variety of the thicknesses and uh, closeness of the lines to give it the illusion of natural curliness. So 
So here we have kind of wavy hair. Um, on this head right here, I just want to show you using the exact same kind of technique of back and forth C shapes. Uh, you can you can make your curls as tight as you want to create hair that's more like this. And this hair you can have a little bit more fun with in just making it a mess. You don't have to be as careful with your strokes in this kind of hair because, because it is a mess. That's kind of the point is to just make this curly curly mop of hair. Just add as many flyaways as you want, loose curls and chaos. And see, I'm just repeating the exact same shapes over and over and over, and that's really all it is. So here we have much crazier hair using the exact same principle. And then lastly, over here, I wanted to show you um, in the video of straight hair, we had um, different things affecting it, you know, just the gravity pulling down on it or wind. And the curly hair is less affected by that. Um, obviously, you know, it's still, it's still being controlled by whatever force like gravity or wind, but it has more body still. And so say we had wind blowing this way, and we want the basic hair movement to follow kind of this shape, we'd still, it'd still be the same as with the straight hair. We'd follow that line, but not as like exactly as with um, straight hair. So it's still going in the basic gist of that movement, but still maintaining its curl. Also, when wind is pulling on curly hair in, um, in images, just to show the kind of exaggeration of the wind, instead of drawing your curl like this in the wind, um, have it kind of go like that to show that the wind is really pulling on it in that direction. And so in this video, um, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a repeat of this straight hair because the same principles apply. All I'm showing you is this kind of C movement that combined a whole bunch makes curls. And, and that's not really all it is. And so you can just have a lot of fun with it. You can loosen up and, and make some uh, different hairdos. You can make it short or long or as curly or just as wavy as you'd like um, just with that. So hopefully this video was helpful, and uh, leave a comment on videos you'd like to see in the future, and have fun drawing. Thanks for watching!